This video is sponsored by Deep Cut Studios. For a wide range of fantastic gaming resources such as battle mats, dice trays and pre-painted bases, check out the description below. Hi guys, welcome back to TNG Productions. My name is Tom and I'm joined by Carly. And it's not CNC this time. We've quashed the insurrection in the Moonstone Battle Reports. For now. For now. We're playing Malifaux, which means I'm in control. <laughs> you have no power here, Courtney. <laughs> we'll see. And we're finishing off a third season. I know, it's gone quick, Even hasn't with, it? Like, COVID and stuff like that. So we're doing our third season battle report, last one of it with Nelly and the Guild. Mm. You're going to be bringing... I'm going to be bringing Lord Cooper. And we're going to do something new. What we're thinking of doing is maybe if we do a couple of battle reports with the original crew, and then the last one we use the title card. So I'm going to use Nelly's Voice of Disorder. You've got... I'm going to use Huntmaster. Yeah, we don't usually like chasing the new hotness, but it just might be a nice way of, again, showing how crews mm. can change and be varied. We'll see how we like it, and if it's too complicated complicated or not. Luckily, this Nelly card has far less text on it. Good times. We'll see. You've got a bow. I mean, yeah. that's a thing. It's a bit different, isn't it? But speaking of explorers, whoop, out of nowhere, I can show you. We've got the last one of these. This is from Johnny Weird himself, Weird Games. Ooh, this is an annual core box, and hopefully if you don't know the routine by now, if you comment on this battle report and give us your play of the game, MVP, favourite part, how great my hair looks, how beautiful Courtney's voice is, whatever you want, just don't play to his ego too much, you will be in a chat for a chance to win this, and all you need to do is make sure you are subscribed, not for boring YouTuber reasons, but it's because we announce it in the channel community page, and that will only pop up in your feeds if you're subscribed, so make sure you do that at some point during this battle report to be in for a chance of winning, and she's her title card is really good yes. as well, isn't it? Her new one I, mean, I mean, I love... I love Anya in all her forms, so it's a good prize. There's every and, chance Courtney will be bringing Anya. And talking time. actually about that, uh, I should also just sort of say that better late than ever, but uh, Weird actually supplied us with the Cooper crew that I actually... You have the first Malasaurus that actually reached the UK. Yeah, it was. It took me a while to get it all sorted, but it's done now. No, it's all good. So a massive thank you for Weird for yeah. all the support they've had. We are completely tapped on all the, the goody prizes now, so we might have to stop Paul for a season before yeah. we can give them away otherwise. We'll have plenty more in the future. But without further ado, let's show you our crews and we're going to go into our super casual and fun battle report. And this is my final time introducing my guild journalist crew for today's battle report. So 50 soul stones, four soul stones remaining after hiring and a good variety. But of course, this time we're trying out the new variant of Nelly Cochran, the voice of disorder. And this one's... Well, the main positive, Courtney, is there's less on her card, which is always a good start. Um, she's far more to do with putting distracted on both her own models and the enemy, and then kind of pseudo-obeying them, really, getting them to do stuff. So she's really effective at doing that. She still has exclusive interview, which means that she can control interactions. She still has the ability to kind of mess with people when they interact by giving them a damage rather than gaining focus, thanks to her words of power. But aside from that, the really interesting ability that she has is spread the word which once per activation, when someone nearby gets conditioned, she can have it spill over to a friendly journalist or to an enemy that is nearby. So you can use that for buffs and debuffs, which is really good. So we're going to be interested to see how exactly she affects the crew. Now, as usual, we've got our two henchwomen. We have got Fiona Gage, who's pure damage dealer beats it. We've got Alison Dade, who's kind of like a baby version of normal Nelly. We've got the printing press totem. We've got two minions in the form of the false witness and the field reporter. And then we've got our enforcers. We've got one in keyword, which is the undercover reporter who's actually going to start on the field this time for a change. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the pale rider who was just an absolute beast last game, wasn't he, mate? He was he just, was, he's yeah. been horrendous. So he's primarily targeted number one. But we're going to see how Nelly affects the crew and see how differently they play. And if we enjoy this, we might do this as a consistent final game when we do these seasons. So without further ado, let's see what Courtney has brought. And here is Courtney's Explorer Society crew, and you've got new coops. I have. Tupa. Tupa. Uh, so I'm, I'm playing Lord Cooper Huntmaster today. He's got a bow instead of a rifle. He has got a bow instead of a rifle. He's the unholy union of Cooper and Marcus. Yeah, so he's Beastmaster. He is a Beastmaster. Um, so he has some things that um, you may know if you played um Marcus before. So he has Call of the Wild, which lets him move monster uh, beasts around. He has the triggering built so he can change it into a charge. Very good ability. Very, very good ability. Every time he does damage, uh, he can discard a card to make a beast um attack as well, that same target. And it's not a trigger that that's actually an ability. Very good. Um, so that can generate triggers from the attacks. Then. Exactly, yeah. Uh, he can actually disengage now. Unfortunately, he can also get this the disc 
Um, he can back away. Yeah, exactly. Doesn't he, he give them plus one to their stats when they do stuff outside? He does. Which we'll say in advance, we'll inevitably forget all the way through. Yeah, exactly. It's just one of those things. But He, he, he does do that as well. Uh, so he definitely wants to get the beasts um, doing stuff outside of the activations. So he has a lot of options outside of keyword as well. I know we don't do them for these battle reports, but things like the sandworm and stuff. like Yeah, the sandworm, the damned, um, the sp the spider beastie thing. The spider things. beastie thing as well. So there is quite a few op beasts options in there. He doesn't get the uh, discount that Marcus does, but he still can make quite good use of them. He's not the only new models you're bringing. They've got some birdies. Yeah, the um, the eagles, the Imperian eagles. Uh, they are um, fantastic ski runners. I mean, seven movement. Um, they are not... Um, they're able to scheme. They've got that austere and twig bonus action attack thing. Aerial strike, yeah, yeah really with good. the trigger as well to drop a scheme marker. Very good. Um, they they are actually pretty decent, and for five points, you definitely might take one or two, especially with, even with old Cooper, you would probably. Um, so the rest of the crew, two Crypsis, I thought, six willpower. Why not? Uh, tr always trusting the Crypsis to do something. Um, we've obviously got three totems there, there to uh, hopefully run off the, your side of the board. Yeah, if they get off the board, they get to give you a full hand bat, don't they? Yeah, the get, exactly. Um, if the two doggos. The two doggos as well, Artemis and Eula. And then the biggest doggo. The biggest doggo, the Malasaurus Rex, who is particularly nasty with this master. So this Cooper, we'd expect to be manipulating the beast more than just shooting from the back. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because his bow, his bow, it, it loses two inches, and it's not doesn't do as much damage innately. But uh, they have to discard a card that you gain uh, adversary beasts. Very nice. So which, go with your adversary apex that you're chucking out. Yeah, exactly. So there is potential to do a lot of damage. So Courtney's rocking in with four soul stones as well. So without further ado, we'll show you the battlefield and we'll cut to it. And here we are all set up for today's game in some sort of weird jungle. I did my best with this. Do you want to give us like a lore background here? Um, well, obviously, you know, Lord Cooper likes Buddha. Well known for his Theravada beliefs, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so he's... um. Took some statues through the portal and put them here, and I think Nelly has come to investigate. Um, I feel like this is his hunting ground where he hunts game, and Nelly's accidentally walked in on like one of his hunts because obviously you've got these runaways on the halfway line. Yeah, and Nelly's like, "Can I interview you?" And they're like just screaming and running away. Yeah, exactly. So we are playing uh, obviously fifty soulstone games, symbols of authority, and you can see mine. I've gone full call to the burning man. I've got flamey tokens. You've gone like very professional, nice flat tokens. That's me, professional. Where, where's your pile of corpses? Um, we don't talk about that. We don't, so we keep them in the closet. Yeah, they're behind the uh, Walmart or, <laughs> or Tesco. <laughs> your supermarket of your choice. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So, uh, we've got a scheme pool. We'll flash them up on screen. We have got Detonate Charges, Vendetta, Breakthrough, Outflank, and Claim Jump. And I will flash on screen which ones myself and Courtney have gone for. Now, you're bringing a lot of models to this game. I'm starting with three pass tokens. We have already drawn our cards and flipped for initiative. I flipped a two, you flipped an eight, and you have chosen for me to go first. Yeah, I don't think that's going to stick, though. I think, I think the pass tokens might come into yeah. play. Um, any plans going forward? Just shoot stuff, basically, with new Cooper? Or do you have to get I, things in position? I mean, I, I guess just just move everything up and see what happens when a lot of birds and the T-Rex get into some journalist... <laughs> Bad things happen. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll get the first turn started. Right, so yeah, the user pass token, which is makes a lot of sense really. He's it's a got three. Strategy, I'd like to say. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so I'm going to use uh, one of my just pointless activations. I'm going to go with this runaway here. He's literally just going to run to here and then to the back, and then he's going to focus because he's just run around that corner and then seen like there's a load of reporters and he's seen an undead horse yeah and he's just like oh oh no 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 that uh, cooper shoot me instead yeah and that is the activation done okay second pass token now I, I guess he just doesn't want to play today so i'm going to go with a walking pass token which is this runaway he is going to take a walk probably to here and then he's also going to focus exciting stuff enjoy Right, I've just been reminded I've not actually shown you my hands, so here you go. Hopefully you can see those. Uh, so now I'm going to go with my third runaway because he's passed again. Uh, he's going to take a walk. And he's also going to focus as well. And uh, he's run out of pass tokens now, so he's actually got to do stuff. Wah, wah. <laughs> 
Okay, up to me. Well, I suppose I better do some activating stuff. So this is my hand of cards with my arcane reservoir. And you'll notice, yeah, my undercover reporter, he didn't actually deploy buried this game, and that's because New Nelly doesn't want him to as much. So I'm going to activate Alison Dade, which seems sensible because she's manipulative, and this is really early in the turn. She is going to try and impassion defense the Pale Rider. So start six, needing a ten. Loves it, gets a nine, and that will give the Pale Rider shielded plus two. However, new Nelly tech, so she's got an ability called Spread the Word. So once per activation, when a model within eight inches of her gains a condition, this model may have another friendly journalist or enemy model within two of that model gain the same condition to a value of plus one, if any. So guess what, Fiona Gage? You also get a bit of impassioned defense and gain a shielded. Uh, next thing Alison Dade is going to do, she is going to interact to put this here for reasons, and then she's just going to simply walk herself five inches to this position, which will end her activation. Right, I think we're going to go with uh, one of Cooper's new minions, which is the Empyrean, 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 Empyrean Eagle. This the one, the Marcus Eagle. The Marcus Eagle. Uh, so, it's fully actually that Where's this... the second head? Where's your official model, even though they haven't been released? Where is it? Look, Are you right. proxying? I am proxying. How will people know what model it is? I mean, I, 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 you've caught me. <laughs> <laughs> so... If you went to an organised play event, they would not be happy with you. Look, you're... Look, right. What tier list is it on? <laughs> I don't know. Stop it. Stop asking me so many questions. I just want to be prepared. They're so good, these birds. They're yeah. seven, aren't they? They are. So, it's funny how this is like the second mass that I played recently that's got birds. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm obviously bird mad. So, in tradition, he's going to move... We and appreciate then, you gave the award to the guy who praised your bird noises and you can't do that again for this battle report. You know, you when you gave the free box away. I mean, can no, I not? No, you cannot. <laughs> <Right. laughs> so, so it's a double walk um, and that is going to be the end of his turn. It's over to the undercover reporter and yeah, we're going to do the reverse of what we normally do. Unless I say he's hiding in his barrel, he's not, if that makes sense. Yeah. No staggered or shielded. He is going to use his bonus action to kind of follow a lead. So he's going to remove the scheme marker, which allows him to move six inches, which is pretty tasty, which gets him to this position here, which is conveniently within eight inches of Nelly and two inches within Alison Dade. So he's then going to take the concentrate action and because of spread the word, Guess what, Alison Dade? You also get a focus, which is pretty nice. Mm. Um, second AP is just going to walk to conveniently within four inches or deadly pursuit inches of your runaway. And that's him ready to rumble. Okay. Right. I think it's time to go with Huntmaster Lord Cooper. So, I think the first action I'm going to do is I am going to. Call of the Wilds, which Marcus fans will re will definitely recognise that ability. All three of them. All three of them. Uh, which basically means I can move a beast up to its movement. So we're actually going to do that on uh, Bird or One. So I need a six for this to go off. Loves it. Perfect. Oh. Um, so I'm going to cut away and I'll just move that. Cool. So that's that done. You might have noticed the forest moved as well, but you know, that's clumsy. Hey, you sit down, would you just catch your finger? All the time. <laughs> right. We're going to mess with that forest some more because now I'm going to try and move the T Rex. Oh, that's just enough. So let's move the T Rex. I like how you've painted your T Rex to perfectly blend in with the forest. Yes. Where is the T Rex now? <laughs> it's unimpeded. <laughs> no one knows. It is actually hiding behind a tree. I would forget that it's there if I wasn't on this side of the wall. <laughs> Exactly. Right, third action, Lord Cooper's going to take a walk. He's actually movement six now, which is a massive departure from what he used to. So he's going to move to here, and then to here. And then I'm going to do my bonus action, which is create trap. So I need a four for this to go off. Loves it. Oh, he loves it. Uh, Do you want the crow trigger? Uh, not particularly. I kind of want the tone trigger, so I'm going to put down this. Because the tone trigger lets me toss trap. So it, it range increases by six inches. So... We'll put the trap out. We'll, we'll put the trap out now. And that's the trap put down. And that will be Lord Cooper done. What are these traps? Are they severe? They are all oh, the pit traps. They are severe, hazardous, which is damage one and injured. Oh, very nice. They are destructible though, so just keep that in mind. Always good. 
Okay, tell me if you've heard of this one before. I'm gonna go with the printing press and he is going to take the concentrate action and because of spread the good news, Granny is also gonna gain a focus. Like she's laser concentrated on what she needs to do now. <laughs> Granny loves good news. Granny loves good news, right? It's what the knitting circle is ready for. Yeah. So uh, it's then just gonna move, she's gonna to move to here um, because that's the sensible thing to do and I don't wanna get shot off the board yet. And that's the printing press all done. Right, so let's go with one of my good doggos, Eula. So Eula is going to attempt to flush them out, targeting Crypsis Core 1. Let's see if it goes off. Oh, it does. So Crypsis Core basically pushes up towards the enemy model, which is going to be your weird robot. My weird robot. And because he's an apex model, he gains a focus. Do you get to pass it around to all your other models? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. No, we get something. Except the Burning Man's come back. <laughs> Except him as your Lord and no. Saviour. <laughs> and then you is going to run up to catch up to the boss. And that's you all done. Okay, over to me. We're going to go with the False Witness. She's just going to mosey to this position here. And then she's just going to take the Interact action to pop a ski marker there just to help out to the reporter next. Right, I'm going to go with the other eagle. So he is going to go a double walk. So he's going to go meow, meow, uh, probably to there. <laughs> Puts the proxy base down just next to it. I changed my mind. I'm allowed to change my mind yeah, on the go. Yeah. And then I'm going to do my bonus action, which is aerial strike, uh, which is what the stringers have got. Uh, if you if you know guild, so I'm assuming that he has a little eagle on his on his arm on his little claw that he sends to go. <laughs> he releases. <Yeah. laughs> So, uh, yeah, I'm going to do that against the Barrel Man. So, defence or willpower? Defence? It's against your defence. Stat four, unfortunately. Defence so of five. Let's do this. Ten. Uh, ten as well. You're going to cheat? Um, probably. I'm going to go to eleven, just to be a pain. Ooh. Uh, I will go to... I mean, I could have used my focus in retrospect, but never mind. Sixteen. Oh, okay. Negative flip. It's still a negative flip. Let's do this. Moderate. Weak. So it's a week of one damage. That knocks him down to six health. Enjoy that. I will. And that is him done. Right then, Nelly is going to step up. She is the voice of disorder, which is like her wrestling tag name. She's yeah. going to go with her bonus action, Lunacy. Friendly journalist only. Target gains distracted plus two. And then we can draw a card. So she is going to see if she can get this. That's 16 and a 10. She flips a 10. Very happy. No triggers to declare here. So she is going to give Fiona Gage distracted plus two. Which, to be fair, with these battle reports, Fiona has lived the distracted life. She's been mm. like distracted eight each one. I'm going to draw a card, which is going to be this card here. Uh, second thing she's going to do, she's a speedy little lady now. She's moved six. So she's going to move to this position here. And you can see I've put scheme marker down here because I'm going to try and yeet one forward. So she's going to go with Lessons of Ephraim Wade, which I think is like the first prophet of the Burning Man. Like, don't quote me on that. Uh, start six needed to ten, so this should be nice and straightforward. Well, uh, wah, 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 wah. Famous last words. Well, she <laughs> failed at that. Obviously, you got that little tidbit wrong. Oh, <laughs> Burning so Man's going to punish it each time you don't uh, get different a Different right. same results. So... <laughs> She's then going to do her last action, so this is her last AP. Uh, she's going to sow chaos. So this is quite cool. Reduce the value of the target's non-master's distracted condition by two. Target must take a non-charge general action or a close combat action chosen and controlled by this model. So I don't know what she does when she sows chaos. I think she just gives people really awkward truths. Yeah. So she's going to go to Fiona like, live stream battle reports never work. And then she's just <laughs> going to be moved to this position. <laughs> I mean, she's spitting facts there. She's spitting truth. <laughs> and that's her all done. But when she ends her activation, she's got basically reverse manipulative first to speak. So any attack actions against her now will be on a negative. Right. I'm going to go with Artemis. Artemis is going to walk. Like the good girl she is. Then I'm going to bonus action because she has got nimble. So she can bonus action and take a walk. Corny was just reading this card and seeing like you can remove ski markers to get everyone distracted. And he was like, bad dog, don't do that. <laughs> and then... Uh, second action, she's going to focus, and that is Artemis done. Over to the field reporter for me, she's going to go. She is going to follow a lead, so we're going to get rid of the scheme marker for her to move six inches. 
And then she's going to double walk just outside of your zero inch melee range because then when you activate, she can steal cards and do some damage to you. And that's her order. Lovely. Lovely girl she is. Awesome. I'm going to go with Crypsis card two. Uh, I'm going to just be a double walk. So he's going to go You're going to, to be here. a double walk. And he's going to go to here. And that is him done. Yeah, I'm a double walk. Over to the Pale Rider for me. He's got his one chasing fate token for the start of the turn. He's pretty clear why he's with the Burning Man, really, with Nelly, because he spreads all of the fire and the sadness. I mean, obviously, at this point, New, ne new Levy probably loaned him out. Yeah, he's, he's done a loan deal. <laughs> uh, he's going to basically walk to here, which we've pre-measured, and then he is going to take the Concentrate action and pass it off to Fiona, because spreading of the good news. Uh, and he's just going to try and bonus. He's going to try and ride the me, because obviously he's not within range to do any super fun shenanigans. So he needs a six here for this to go off. Well. Well. Well then. Well, well, well. And we'll move him up. And the taxi service has dropped off Fiona just on the opposite side. And that will do for my pale rider. Right, I think I'm going to go with my Crypsis car now. Crypsis car one. So he's going to take a little walk up to here. And he's going to take a shot at the Pale Rider. How dare you? Uh, so you've got a bounty of conditions, so I get an inbuilt trigger of my choice. So a couple I'm, of conditions. Somewhere. So I'm going to take a ram. Nice. And I'm going to use this focus. So the ram is going to be your crit strike. It is. Well then, I'm not going to spend my focus, because you're stat 5, aren't you? I am. And I'm defence 6, so I'm going to risk it. Okay. I flip to a 10. I flip to... Not a 10. So I'm actually going to cheat. You're stat 5 with a focus, so you're on a 10 as well. Oh. There you go, I'm helping you out. Oh, so, okay, yeah. Um, I'm going to cheat first. Because I have a better defensive stat, I'm going to cheat in a 13. So we're going to go to 19. Oh, no. Red Joker. Oh, what? Uh, <laughs> fine. <laughs> fine. Uh, so double negative to a single negative. Yeah, I'm going to choose the RAM. So, so I'm going to have crit strike. double crit strike. That seems fair. Go for uh, it. So negative flip. One. I am hard to wound, so it is a double oh, negative. Two. Three, so that would be uh, two damage up to four damage. Up to four damage. I'll drop one of my shielded just to make it three. And that knocks him down to six health. He's already feeling a little bit poorly. And that's the Christmas card on. Okay, over to me. We're going to go with Fiona Gage. After many measurings, we're going to go with uh, a simple move, which gets her to here. And then she's going to charge Lord Cooper. So she can get within an inch of him, we measured basically at the tip of the edge here. Okay. So you go with that and say that that is an inch. Yeah, I'm just. Yeah. Uh, she's going to buy an attack against him. So she's going to go with her stat six modified pickaxe. Now he is stealthy, but he's not disguised. So I basically move and then I hit him from an inch away. Yep, that's it. Uh, your defense? Uh, defense sticks. Lovely. So let's see how we do. She flips a 10. So I'm on 16. I'm on 15. Would you like to cheat? Uh, no. No. You stick with it? I'm going to take it, yeah. Like, uh, like the man that I am. I will take the blank stare trigger then in that case, which will be I discard a card, you gain slow and must discard a card. So do that in a second. Uh, negative flip for damage? Yep. So we get weak and severe. So that'll be two damage ignoring card to wound. Yeah, two damage. And then, as I said, I'm going to discard a three of masks to give you slow. Okay. And you need to discard a card as well, my love. I'll discard this three. Lovely. And that is Fiona all done. Right. Um, very aggressive move. <laughs> Had to be at this stage. Um, I shall return. Before she gets all the distracted in the world like normal. Yeah. So I'm going to return the favour and I'm going to go with the Malasaurus Rex. He's going to charge to here. Let's move that out of the way for you. Uh, I've measured this, so he's in two. So, he's going to take a swing at you. So it is stat six against your defense. Uh, defense of six. Okay, let's do this. I'll drop my focus, just to get a positive here. Okay. Oh. Uh, 17. Ooh, I'll go to, ooh, 17. 17. I'll, I'll miss that. I'll okay. miss it. Fine. Then I'm going to do Lashing Tendrils. So this is against your movement. Her movement is five. Uh, start six against, yeah. Let's do this. 16. Uh, 14. I will go to 17. 
I'll go to 18 with the rip and tear trigger. Nudging my poor rider. Yep. Yep. So I'll just nudge her a little bit. <laughs> uh, and then I'll just nudge her towards Cooper, actually. So screw it. You want, you want Cooper, you'll get Cooper. <laughs> um, so I've got a rip and tear trigger. So I get to uh, do an attack now. Go for it. So another stat six for some defense. And I get a plus flip for this. One, two. Uh, 13. Nine. I'm on nine. <laughs> You're on 19 then. Uh, I'll miss that and I'll attack you one more time. Lovely. Again, start six versus my defense. Yep. Uh, for nine currently? 17. Uh, I'll go to 18. Uh, yeah, no, that's 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 him done. Somehow she survives. <laughs> well, when you've got high cards in your hands, oh, that's what you good. can do. And that's the end of the turn. And here we are at the end of turn one. And yeah, Fiona Gage has maybe bitten off more than she can chew. You, I'm maybe. just going to put it out there. I mean, I did throw three good attacks at you and you missed them all. You did. I got very lucky with the hand of cards. So... I um, we were just saying, now we're going on to turn two. It's quite tricky to get these scheme, these strat markers because of corner deployment. Like, you really have to be quite mobile and we haven't exactly got slow crews. No, we haven't. Uh, it's worth me saying that my undercover reporter has used his deadly pursuit. He's just behind the Buddha statue. He's kind of engaged your mm -hmm. runway. Um, so we've drawn fresh cards, we've flipped for initiative, I flipped to 10, you flipped to 5, you cheated in a 10, so I had to cheat in 11. Yeah. Uh, thoughts and prayers? Uh, maybe pushing her to what, uh, gauge towards my uh, master was not a good idea. You were thinking maybe push away so you can get another charge off next turn, weren't you? Yeah, oh well. We'll see how we go. This is what it is. So we'll go to the first activation of turn 2, which will be the guild. Right then, it is me to lead the way, and it's worth us both saying that we stoned each for cards, didn't we? So, yeah. don't you look at my sacred cards, my dear. This is what I am playing with this turn. And we're going to lead the way with uh, Miss Cochrane. She's going to go, Nelly. She is, first of all, going to attempt to use Lunacy on the printing press. So, this needs a four. Gets a six with a tome, that's good. So it would gain two distracted, but it's got a focus, so it'll basically gain one distracted, because they cancel each other out. I can then draw a card because of the effects, and then I can draw a second card because of the surge trigger. They were both ones, so guess what I'm discarding? Both <laughs> of those ones. Um, that's the thing, apparently. And then I am going to move on up. So Nelly has got a move of six, so she's going to mosey to this position here. And then we've pre-measured she's going to mosey over to this position. So because she's just super quick now, like the Burning Man, she's hot stepping. Da -da yeah. Right, you can see we Terrible. put a, uh, a scheme marker down over here within eight inches. And that is because she's going to use Lessons of a Frame Wade. I'm going to hopefully not Black Joker at this time. So stat six needing a ten. What's going to be our awkward truth that she's going to share this time, Courtney? It doesn't matter what the new masters are. If you tier list them, you're a scumbag. <laughs> Uh, no, it works. Right. <laughs> Clearly it's true. Burn right. agrees. Burn agrees. So uh, that is going to be a only a one inch shockwave, which is sad. It's willpower 14, one damage and a distracted. So oh, wow. I'm going to go with Fiona first because I'll do mine and then I'll get yours out of the way. So willpower 14 is quite nasty. So Fiona needs a nine for this to be ignored. She black jokers it. Of course yeah. she does. So she gains a distracted, which makes her a little bit sad in a source. And then, my dear, you have the joys of doing all of your flips. So it's Dino, Dog, Boss Man, and one of the Crypsis core. Right, so... I will fish out some distracted tokens as you check this. Let's do Boss Man first. So Boss Man is Willpower 5. What's the target number? 14, mate. Oh, God, right, okay. Let's do this. Yeah, he's fine. Loves it. Crypsis. Uh, this, what? yeah, Crypsis. Uh, that is a seven. They are willpower six. Crips is a willpower six. Yep. God damn. Uh, ooh, no, he's going to get distracted. Lovely. And a damage. And a damage. I'll just pop that on now. Uh, T Rex is only willpower four. Yeah, he's going to get distracted. And a damage. I'll just put them behind them. Yeah. Uh, and I believe it is the dog. Doggo. Yeah, same again. Damage and distracted. Yep. Nelly is going to use her spread the word ability uh, because a model within eight has gained a condition she can have a friendly journalist or an enemy also gain it. So you know Cooper, he's getting it either way. So everybody gets a lovely distraction there. 
Okay, cool. And because that is everything done with her, they've all taken damage apart from Cooper. It does mean that they can't take the interact action unless I control it, but let's be honest, you're not going to be worrying about that too much. Uh, so you end her activation, and now she's on negative flips should you wish to attack her, because she has been the first to speak with her awkward truths. Right, I'm going to go with uh, the Crypsis car. Yes. Uh, so, we're, I'm going to take a shot at the Pale Rider. Leave him alone. Leave him no. Alone. I'm going to drop my focus because I feel like I'm going to need it here. So your stat of? Uh, stat of five. First of my defense of six. Yeah. So um, four. Oh, it's 18 months. Yeah, 18. I'm going to miss that. Uh, let's do this again. Uh, so just straight flip for me this time. Okay. <laughs> 18. Uh, right, okay. And that is, that's him done. Good times. Okay, over to Fiona Gage. We're going to do this while we can. She is going to declare an attack on Lord Justin Cooper. Mm -hmm. uh, she's going to use her modified pickaxe. So, I would be on a negative because it's distracted, but I get a positive from being near a scheme marker, so they're going to even each other out to a straight flip. Okay. This is stat six versus his defense. Okay, That's defense him. six. Yep, so, see how we did. Red Joker. Oh, nice, that fails. And she's going to hit him again. See how we do this time. Uh, I'm going to do predatory instinct. Oh no, not because I'm not attacking. Never mind. Okay. Red joke. <laughs> uh, Seventeen. Uh, well, nineteen. I will declare the sweeping strike trigger. So when resolving the target, will suffer a blast. Actually, I was on a positive flip, so I need to flip another card for this one. Just you know, it doesn't matter. Yeah. But for the sake of burning it, yeah, works well burning it. So uh, negative flip for damage. Yeah. Ba -ba -ba. Weak and moderate, so that will be two damage to Cooper. Yep. And then what is the blast? One damage for everybody else, I think, isn't it? Uh, it is. I'm actually going to stone this. Nice. We do so that. I will stone two of it. Uh, no I'm, damage. I'm going to blast onto those three. So Dino, Dog, and Crypsis, if that's okay with you, my love. Yeah, so they take one damage each. And that is Fiona Gage all done. Right. I'm going to go with the Rex. The Rex. The Rex. The man, the Rex, the legend. <laughs> yes. So I'm going to attack Fiona. Well, that's rude. Uh, defense of six. I'm distracted, so I'm on a minus. I get a positive flip because I'm near a scheme marker. Okay. One. Well, all my severs are gone up. Oh, for God's sake. Two. All well, my severs are gone. Well, that's good. Much. So 19. Uh, a lot less. Well, that's going to fail. Now I am going to... Let me just get the correct wording for this because I don't want to confuse everybody at home. But I'm going to Lashing Tendrils her. So against my move for five? Yep. See how we do. Uh, stat six. Uh, seven currently. Uh, I'm on the 14. Uh, no ram here so far, is there? No. So, yeah, fine. Go for it, mate. Yeah, I'm going to push you four inches away. I'll get you distracted out the way as well. Uh, so, i just get my little widget out here. So that one you want, mate, there. Because she's, I don't go and carry on, carry yeah, on, carry yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, keep your, keep your, nose <laughs> keep your opinions to yourself. Uh, so we're going to knock her back. Away from the ski marker. Yeah, Good from choice. here. And then he's going to charge, keeping two inches away from her. So you can charge within your own, uh, over your own models, can't you? Yes. Stampede. Uh, so I'll just start charge to here. <laughs> and move everything, everything. in the... This is Bring why we're it. not professional. Like, Nelly's next home truth is going to be like, we are really twitchy on camera. Yeah. Uh, right, start six against my defence again, yeah? Yeah. Lovely. The only gauge. Seven, currently. Nineteen. Oh, do you know what? I will go to... Uh, Seventeen. Just put it on negative. Okay, we'll tear off a bite, so I'm going to heal two. Uh, so, negative flip. One. Two, that's three damage. Uh, down to two because I have armour. Puts her on seven. And that is the T-Rex done. Over to me then, Alison Tate is going to go. I don't know why I'm doing this. She's going to make a five inch walk to this position here, which is just within eight inches of both the dog and the pale rider. Mm -hmm. She's going to try and impassion defence the pale rider. So this is stat six needing a ten. She gets a three. But do not worry, Courtney. Do not fear. I'm going to cheat in this four times. Which also gives me the surge trigger, so I draw this card here. Uh, it's going to give him double shielded, double rainbow. 
<laughs> and, <laughs> sorry for that reference, everybody. It's one of those. It battle, should be like it's. If you haven't noticed, we're in a weird mood for this battle report. Like we're enjoying it, but like she's gonna ask, she's gonna ask you a question. She's gonna ask the dog a question. One more question, even Courtney. I go so far to say you can ask a dog a question. I can. Man. I'm gonna ask you um, how you feel about our Lord and Savior, the Burning Man. Okay, cool. So this is gonna be a stat of uh, six versus your willpower with a built-in mask. Okay, willpower five. Oh, Black Joker. Fit, yeah, <laughs> good news. The answer is woof, woof, woofity, woof, woof, woof. woof. Um, so, fifteen would mean that it definitely goes through. You gain slow. Now you're not engaging any models, which is a little bit rude of you, Courtney. But the question is, do I take the headline secrets exposed trigger, or do I take the slander for the distracted? I am going to take the. Headline secrets exposed trigger. So you have to now take the interact action, my love. Okay, I'll interact to pick up a scheme marker. You're gonna remove all scheme markers yeah. nearby. Right, this will trigger one of Nelly's new abilities. So she's got words have power. After an enemy model within an eight inches aura uh, takes the interact action, you suffer one irreducible damage. She's like, I saw you. And then uh, Alison Dade still got the old ability of um, well, chasing a story where she gets a focus, so she's just gonna. Enjoy the fact that you couldn't answer her question. She's going to feel superior to a dog. I mean, that's more. That says more about her than it does about that, <laughs> isn't it? Well, that's her done. Right, I'm going to go for Crypsis Core Two. Electro uh, Crypsis Core Two is going to take a shot at the Pale Rider. So you are distracted. So negative flip for you. Step yeah. five versus my defense of six. Yep. Yeah. I'm just hoping to get lucky. Thirteen, Corin. Uh Yeah. No. No. Uh, and now I'm going to actually take the proper shot this time. The proper shot. That was his practice shot. Uh, put the ram on this because you've got a condition. That makes sense. I am on 12. I am on 10. I am going to go up to, let's see if you've got the red joker corny. I think you might have already flipped it. 19. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's fine. That's him done. That's him done. Right then, it's Pale Rider time, Courtney, and mm -hmm. the reason I had to go with Allison is because I was fishing for a ram because I didn't have any, so he's going to go. He is simply going to make uh, two walk actions. He can't quite get to a point where he can just walk and charge. So he's going to park himself just here, snuggling the, uh, the dino, um, but he can see basically everything around you, and then he's going to try and revel in conflict. So we flip a ten of masks, but I'm going to cheat in the card that I drew from Allison, which is very lucky. Six of Rams, which is just what I need to get the Devastation trigger. So this is going to be two Irreducible Damage and one Burning to everyone nearby. Okay, cool. So, Crypsis number one. Okay. Down to? Uh, Crypsis number one is down to uh, two. He's on five health. Crypsis number two. He's down to three health. Uh, is it Ula at the back? Uh, Ula is down to three health. Lord Coops. Cooper is down to uh, eight health. Dino. Dino is down to uh, ten health. Artemis. Artemis is down to uh, three health. And run away. How many uh, health do they have? They have two or three. They have four. Uh, four. That's not bad. And. Um, Nelly is then going to use her ability, which is uh, spread the word. So because someone got a condition, she can give either a friendly journalist or an enemy within two an extra one. She is simply going to put the additional burning on Coops. So he's on two burning. Okay. And like that, we have every token under the sun. Right. Let's go with Cooper. You absolutely tried your best to stop that. Yeah, I it was on, It's just so hard, isn't it? I just, yeah, I just, um, I was hoping to just, do something to him, but every time I fired at him, he was just shaking it yeah. off. So, uh, so let's go with Cooper. So Cooper is gonna just try and do a hunter's ball. He's distracted, so he's gonna be on a minus. Lovely. So your stat six versus my defense of six. Yeah, against the power rider. One, uh, two. Nah, I'm all right. Yeah, that's fine. And then I'm gonna do a, a shot again. Now you're uh, more friendly fire. It's worth a setting, isn't it? So you're yes. not on negative two. This. So uh, stat six versus my defense of six. Yeah. Second one. Uh, 10 currently. I am on... Ooh. Many more? Yeah, 13. Uh, I will go to 18, mate. I will... match you on 18, I think, yeah. Okay. I am hard to wound, so... Uh, double negative to a triple negative? Yeah. 
one, two, three. Uh, so that is a moderate of four damage. Four damage. Uh, actually, it's an extra negative, isn't it? Because double negative is three. Four damage. damage. Four damage either way. Uh, I can't reduce this. So one, two, three, four. He's on two health left, you'll be pleased to hear. Um, so you have to discard a card that you gain Adversary Beast. I do. I will discard a six of crows. Awesome. And then, because this is something Cooper can do, Sense of Blood, I can discard a card and I can have the T-Rex take att attack on the Pale Rider. So is this your trigger? Uh, no, this is not a trigger, this is an ability. Oh, very nice. Uh, so... Oh, wait, shielded. I'm, I, I'll reduce the shielded so I've got one extra health. I forgot I had that. Yeah, sure. So I'm on three health. Uh, so T-Rex is going to attack. Lovely. Uh, normal flip. Normal flip. Uh, 11. Uh, 12. Uh, I will match you on 12. Okay, so it would be an extra neg because of this ability. Uh, so it is <laughs> And I'm hard neg. to wound. So four cards again. <laughs> One, two, three, four, three damage. Uh, eats the other shielded, so two damage. So he uh, is. I should actually say he should also have been on a plus one stat because of Cooper, but it doesn't matter. That's right, yeah, he's still here, wouldn't you? Because so, I would have still got that one on the third card, so it doesn't matter. One health left. Um, a bonus if you need it, because you are slow. I'm going to do my quick create trap. So I'm going to try and do that. I need a four. Loves yep, it. He loves it. I also get the Toss Trap trigger, but I think I'm going to actually put this uh, a bit more closer. So create, you can put it in base contact with yourself, but not an enemy model. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to pop it just here. That's a good idea. Because then the Crypsis Core will actually... Uh, Turn into Hazardous. Yeah. Very nice. And that is uh, Pat Cooper done. I'm going to go with my undercover reporter, and now I've annoyingly cheated both my sixes. I can't really risk the arson attack on the ski marker, which is what I was gearing up for. Uh, so he's just going to step up. He is going to charge the bird. They're not disguised or anything, are they? No. Birds with little hoodies on. No. Uh, he's going to drop his focus for a positive flip. Okay, cool. This is going to be a stat of five versus your defense of? Uh, of five. Oh, let's see how we do. So, oh, there we go. Uh, 18. Uh, I'm on a 9. Uh, so... Uh, I am going to... Go to 13. Okay. So it would be a negative flip. Or 12, I should say. 12, I'm on 18, so straight flip. Okay, well, screw it. Um, yeah, I'll just keep it as straight okay. flip. Um, so he drops his focus. That goes to a positive flip. Yeah. And he has a ram built in, and he's flipped one there. So this is double crit strike. Okay. So positive flip. Moderate and moderate, that is going to be four damage, ignoring armor. Okay, he's on one health. And then I'm just going to attack you again, uh, this time just straight. So stat five versus your defense, my dear. Okay. Oh, 17. Uh, 10. Anything to cheat? Uh, no, there's no point. So straight flip, double crit strike. Yeah, kills the bird, yeah, I'm afraid. Yeah, bird dead. And that's him all done. No, actually, no, I got confusion in the ranks. Are these minions, these guys down here? Yeah. Um, I will try and... No, do you know what? I'll leave it. I'll leave it. He's done enough work. Right, we'll go with Eula. Uh, I'm going to discard a card. I'll discard that to do by your side. So she will go... Somewhere within this big scrum. Over to here. Move these over for you, mate. Because the TX is Apex and he's not a minion, so she can do that. Always handy. I'll focus to get rid of the distracted. Yep. And then I'm just going to throw an attack. Uh, defense of six on the pale right. Stat six. Very nice. 17. Eight. Are you going to cheat? No, I am hard to wound though, so your positive goes to a straight. <laughs> All right, straight for it. Uh, that is a week of two. That will kill the pale rider. Okay. Just as well. I will pop this here and we'll tactically remove him. Okay. Anything else for you to do? Uh, that's it. No straightforward activation for me as I mourn the death of my rider. We were saying it's probably important because if he would have lived and then gone first next turn and been able to chuck that out again, it's basically game over. Yeah, isn't it? So, yeah. Um, the false witness is going to go. She's just going to walk to here. And then you can see we've already put it down. She's just going to put a scheme marker down, just ready for the field report, so just like she did last turn. Okay. Right, let's go with this one away. 
The Scarlet Card when you activate, because, you know, the field reporter says you can't escape the truth or you uh, humiliation. I'll discard that. Uh, I'll take a walk just in base contact and then I'll attack her. With well, you my... can actually charge me. We don't have an engagement range either. Oh, so I'll just... if you want to save yourself oh. an AP. Yeah, I'll just charge you then. Yeah, I don't have an engagement, I don't think. Nope. Uh, serene countenance, so. I'll spend that focus to get around Straight it. Great flip. Uh, defense of five versus your stat of. Oh, it's four. 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 <laughs> Good tune, 14. Uh, ooh, okay. More. Uh, 17. Okay. Uh, negative flip. Negative flip. Boom. It's a moderate of two damage. She goes down to four health. And I will swing again. I'm on negative this time. Oh dear, six. Wow. Okay, so I am on four, five, six, seven. <laughs> yep, negative flip again. Negative flip. Don't die, come One. on. Oh, it'd be hilarious if you did. Two. Uh, so that is a moderate of two damage. Uh, she got two health left. And then I'm going to do my bonus action. Uh, call for help. So this gives your willpower stat four. Uh, negative flip for you, Serene Countenance. Yeah, one. Yeah, Two. Yeah, you're fine. And that is uh, him done. Take a point of damage at the end of your activation. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'm going to go with the field reporters. We'll keep the camera here. She is simply going to discard the scheme marker to follow a lead. Takes it to here. And then she's going to try and flash photography your bird. She doesn't particularly fancy the fact that it could probably kill us. So start six versus your willpower. Okay. Ooh, I am on 11. I am on nine, so that doesn't go through. Uh, I'm just going to try it a second time. So okay. Start six. Uh, I'm on 16. I'm on 15, so she fails at life. That's her done. This is clearly the action zone, because you're going to activate now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Burp is going to charge. Is it? Are you going to focus and charge first? Yeah. Yeah, I am. I'm going to focus I mean, and charge. To, no, is... I'll focus and charge, yeah. Right, so Serene Countenance. I'll so spend... straight flip. Yeah, straight flip. Defense of five. Well, well then, Courtney. Uh, I'll cheat this in. It's worth saying you weren't within two inches of me when you started it, so you wouldn't have had to discard. Yeah. 18. Uh, 16. Um, actually, 17. Oh, yeah. 16, go for it. Uh, negative flip. Negative flip. One. What's its min damage? One. Flipper minor. Two. Oh, oh. Joker. Well, Boom. I mean, that, that's just perfect for everything. Do you know what your reward is, though? What's that? You take a point of damage at the end. Of well, I'm not finished yet. I've got, you will I've take got, a point of damage. I've got a bonus action aerial strike. We'll just do this on the serene. All right, serene countenance against my One. defense again. Uh, yep. Two. What's your stat? Uh, yeah, it's eight. Eight, ten. That's it. Now you'll take your damage. Okay. And you'll like it. So the little printing press that could, it is simply just going to double walk. So it's going to move five to here. Five to here. And just kind of hang out, keeping Allison company. That's my activation's done. So you've got three on the bounce now. Right. We're going to go with uh, this runaway. Uh, the runaway That's is going to assist... Uh, off Artemis, which is a very weird thing to happen. Stop patting the dog really aggressive. The dog is actually chasing him, but he's just like, I don't know, I guess he's Maybe just he feels sorry, sorry. for it, yeah. just wailing on fire. So I'll, I'll flip a card. Yeah, burning goals. So I'll get rid of that. Goodbye, burning. Uh, and then he's going to charge Fiona Gage because he's brave. He is very brave. So he's going to spend his focus. Are you ready for this? Uh, defense of six. All right, start of four. Let's see how we do. Eleven. Eight. Go for it. Oh, I've got I've got a focus, haven't I? Even better. Go for it. Uh, so I am on seventeen to your eight. Straight flip. Uh, to a plus because of focus. Go for it. Yes, 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 yes. So how many? That is two damage. Uh, down to one because I have armor, so she's down to seven after that heal she had earlier. The trigger goes off, which means that you have to attack me. I have to attack you? You do. Well then. I mean, Fiona will happily oblige with that. Do I get triggers on this attack and stuff? Uh, you just get to make a melee action targeting in this model. Okay. Stat and I get to draw a card. Stat six versus your defense. Okay. No positive flip for me. Uh, nine. Uh, a lot less than nine. We are on seven. Okay. Uh, I would have blank stare, but I have no cards to discard. Okay. So I'm just going to shuffle my deck. I'll do the damage. Okay, so negative flip for damage. 
Severe. Moderate. And he dies. He does die. And you gain Super Adversary. Oh, has New Cooper still got Super Adversary? Yeah, because it's actually oh, on his it card. On there we go. I will put this here on my model and a corpse. Yeah. And that works out quite well, actually. Now, interesting question for you. <laughs> it's Adversary Apex or is it just Adversary Enemy? It's it's a first three apex. Just as well, because otherwise Nelly would be like, you can have it instead. Yeah. <laughs> it is a first three apex. Lovely. And that's the runaway all done. Right. So we're going to go with Artemis. Artemis is going to charge da, 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 to here. Yep. And I'm going to attack Fiona. I'm going to get this adversary. It's and I'm also going to use this focus. So double positive for you. Uh, I'm going to spend one of my, I'm going to do predatory instincts. I'm going to turn one of the double positives on my attack into a positive for my uh, damage. So negative, yes. so positive. So it would just be a normal positive rather than yes. a double positive. Uh, start of your six, is okay. it? Yes. First my defense of six. Yes. Red Joker. Oh, still good, 17. Uh, a lot more than 17. It is, yes, 20. Okay, negative flip. And I will do the quick strike trigger for this. Go ahead. Uh, negative flip, but it becomes a straight. straight flip. Boom. I'm going to cheat in this to get uh, five up to six damage. Uh, so I'm going to reduce it by one. Back down to five. And I will obviously be stoning this. Red Joker. <sighs> <laughs> well... Well, I never come on this channel ever again. This well, has been a terrible experience. That's that happened. Uh, so yeah, that is that's that done. Right, so we think the red joker is still plus one, so I've taken one damage from that, which is absolutely horrendous. And to be fair, you've got armor as well, so it would have been one damage regardless. Courtney so. is going to bathe his hands in holy water after this turn. I've just, I you know, just... I, t I think this is the worst luck I've had in a game of Malfoy for a, for a while, actually. I mean, at least the rider's dead. That's the, we're going to stick with the positives there, but... Yeah, but he managed to set everything on fire until we reduced the process. Job, yeah. Right, so I'm going to do the last run away. He's literally going to try and run for the end field. So he's going to move once, yeah. move twice. He's going to run to that the... That will take us to the end of the turn. And this is the uh, this is the picture at the end of the second turn. And apart from nudging everything on the board, it's been quite cagey, hasn't it? It's been quite difficult. Yeah, I mean, I, I think you have some sort of you must have the burning man on your side. You've got, there's a lot of burning because like I've just had the worst flips ever, and you've just had good flips. It's Nelly spitting, that and now everything's food. on fire, and I just don't like this at all. It's good times. Um, so we have done all the damage and stuff. We've tied everything out. The undercover reporter's done his deadly pursuit, and essentially we're now at a position where we're going into turn three. Neither of us have declared anything at all, have we? No. And we've both had to stone. So I'm down to one stone. Courtney's down to one stone. It's pretty dodgy. Mm -hmm. uh, so we flipped. I had three pass tokens. We still have, somehow managed to draw. We then reflipped. I flipped a flea, a three, not a flea. And you flipped an eleven. I did. Uh, so you're going first. I am going first. So we'll go to the start of turn three, which will be led by the Explorers Society. Right. Okay. First activation. I've had a moment. I've had a pot pie. I'm feeling. I'm feeling a bit more in it now. It's worth to say this is the post lunch turn where we completely ruin the rules and always get this wrong. Yeah. Exactly. So <laughs> take it with a pinch. So hopefully of salt. I'll I'll get a, uh, something out of this. So that's me and. Hopefully you'll be able to ma manipulate the rules. Yeah. Exactly. Advance. Yeah. That's that's what I'm thinking. So I'm actually going to go with Cooper early. Um, I feel like just getting him out. Uh, so I'm going to hunter's. Uh, yeah, a hunter's bow. Uh, targeting uh, a gauge. gauge. Yep. So you're on a positive here. Yeah? I am because of the adversary. Stat six versus my defense of six. Okay. One ah. Uh, well. Two ah. Uh, well. Nineteen. Uh, I will match you on nineteen. Okay. Double negative flip. Double negative flip. One. Two. Three. So that is a week of two. Uh, down to one because of armor. And Scarlet Card again, Adversary Beast. I mean, <laughs> can Adversary Beast? I'll, I'll discard a two anyway, just so we don't have to ask ourselves that question yet. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm going to discard a card because I can do this every single time uh, I damage a model. And you're going to get bitten by the T Rex. Oh, I did not realise you could do that. that. Yeah, it's his ability. Thank you for putting that in straight afterwards. You know, cheers to that, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, go for know. it. So you're going to hit attack with the T Rex? Yeah, so T Rex. Uh, stat 6 versus defense of 6. He's on 19. 18. 
Almost of it is coming out, apparently. Okay. Uh, so I am on a negative because of the ability. Uh, and another negative because of that. Are you hard to wound as well? No, I'm not. I'm just hard to All kill. Right, so just double. So three cards. Two. <laughs> oh, you well, want to get out of the way, though. Three. Uh, that is three damage. Uh, I will stone this. Armour will take one away. And then I'll stone it to ignore it. But yeah. all my severes are gone. Yeah. Again. I mean, you said that last time. And then yeah, then one. some more popped up. Yeah. Okay. Second Co AP. Cooper's going to go out and he's going to shoot again. Yep. So let's do this. One. Yeah, there's Two. another severe. Uh, 17. Uh, I will go to... 18. Uh, I'll go to 19. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. How about no, Courtney? <laughs> um, and then I think I'm just going to attempt to assist the burn off that Crypsis core because I'm a good man. Oh, are you sure you don't want to shoot me a third time to put me down to my uh, grit? Because I'd really, no. I really appreciate that. No. If you did. Uh, so, flip a card. Yeah, that burn comes off that Crypsis core. He's like, here you go, buddy. And that is, I mean, I've got a pit trap I could put down. Um, yeah, I'll try and put a pit trap down. I need a six. Uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. And that is Cooper done. Lovely. Okay, over to me then. So this is going to be my hand that I'm working with this turn. It looks like this. We're going to go with Miss Cochrane. Nelly is going to go to start with. So first action she's going to take is going to be the lunacy action, which is stat six needing a ten. Targeting Fiona Gage, gets it, succeeds. Fiona will gain two distracted, and I will be able to draw a card. Let me just see if there's anything worth cheating. No, there isn't. So, I draw a card. Uh, because of spreading the word, she's gonna give the dino a distracted as well, because it's within two inches of Miss Gage. Mm -hmm. Second thing, Nelly is going to use uh, the lessons of Ephraim Wade. We can see that it's just here that she's going to put her shockwave. Now, this isn't a shooting attack, so she can just drop this instead. So this scheme marker goes down, so I need a four. Uh, the uncomfortable truth, what's she going to go with? Um, I don't know. Explorers weren't as broken as what people said they were. <laughs> uh, she succeeds with a ten. No triggers on this to worry about for the moment. So it is a shockwave one, which is dino and both dogs. Will power 14 or one damage and a distracted. Right, okay, so um, Artemis. That is not a thingy, so that'll be one damage. And distracted. Yep. Yeah. Next dog. Next dog, Eula, passes. And dino. Dinosaur. Dinosaur, passes. What's its willpower? Is it Actually, not? I think it's only willpower <laughs> four, so it does say. not pass. <laughs> uh, yeah, it fails. Okay, and a distracted for the dino there. Mm -hmm. So that's her first AP done. I'm then going to check what I would like to do next. So Nelly's second AP, she's then going to use um, So Chaos. Reduce the value of targets non-masters distracted condition by two, and then the target then makes either a general action or a melee attack, which is chosen and controlled by me. So I don't know how she sows chaos in the dinosaur, maybe being like, the new Jurassic Park films aren't as good as the old ones. I don't know how that works. <laughs> um, but yeah, you take a non-charged general or melee action. So guess what, mate? You're going to take a massive Jaws attack on that fiery Crypsis boy. Okay. Um, I'm going to take a... Negative to the damage to get a positive to the flip because you're on less than three health. So okay. Murder you. Stat six versus his defense. Let's do this. Oh. Uh, 18. Oh, uh, that's 15. Okay. I'm going to take the rampage trigger. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, negative flip to a double negative. Mm hmm. We moderate. Weak. Moderate. Three damage. He dies. He does die. Do you want to corpse? Oh, I wouldn't. Yeah. There you go. Enjoy. Uh, Rampage. Push this model five inches, ignoring any models such as this model moves through the target. Models that's pushed through must each pass TN13 movement jewel or suffer one damage. So, excuse me, my love. I'm just going to lean over. Mm -hmm. I'm going to push myself. There. So, uh, Cooper and that Crypsis, TN13 movement jewel or a damage. Uh, Cooper passes Crypsis. 
Uh, uh, <laughs> um, oh, Nelly. 13. Yes. I'm, I'll match it, so yeah. Okay, so they both don't take a point of damage, so you're okay there. Mm-hmm. And then Nelly has got one more AP left, I believe, by my reckoning. Mm-hmm. So she is going to sow chaos again with her tactical action, targeting Fiona Gage this time. Okay. And Fiona is going to lose both of her distracted. Nelly's going to turn around and go, Alison Dade isn't as good a henchman as Fiona Gage. Because <laughs> Alison can't hear her. Uh, Fiona's going to attack this dog. So uh, I miss. I get a positive flip because I'm near a scheme marker. Okay. So stat six versus your defense. Uh, five. Uh, 19, my dear. 15. Anything to cheat? Uh, no. I'm going to cheat in this 10 for the sweeping strike trigger to put a blast, so I'm going to blast onto the other dog. Okay. So, uh, double negative flip. And another neg because of your... Four. One, two, three, Oh, <laughs> dogs die. Both dogs die. Well. And um, uh, I genuinely can't believe this is all happening. Well, well, Grant. And then Nelly's going to end her activation because I think that's everything and she's just going to put up her please don't attack me back. So that just happened. <sighs> just. This game, man. This game. <laughs> I mean, you're watching someone bully. Bully another person arrive on camp. Jesus camp. Christ. Yeah, I was burning, already down. The Burning Man is on her side. I need another pot pie. She's just, like, this is how crazy. She's murdered two dogs in cold blood and told a dog, I'm the Beastmaster. I'm the Beastmaster now. Look at me. Look yeah. at me. Oh, uh, you know. Right. Here comes the T Rex. So He's going to charge. Charge through your own models like you just don't care. Yeah, to do it. Uh, I'm going to attack Fiona because I need her to die now. Okay. Uh, positive flip for me, positive flip for you. Yep. So, defense of six. Uh, start of six. Boom. Boom. Uh, 11 for me. 16. Uh, so, you'd be on a negative flip. I was. Uh, go for it. Uh, okay, negative flip. One. Two. Moderate of four. Hello, it's on camera. Uh, there you go. So, you, so, the camera knows that I'm not lying. Moderate of four. Yeah. Down to three because of armor. Yeah. Two health left. Uh, then I'm going to attack you again. Yep. Positive flip each again. Yep. One. Oh, two. more weeks. 16. Um, I will go to 12, just to put you on negative again. All right, negative flip. One. Two. Uh, so I'm on, f so that's three damage. Takes me down to my hard to kill. Okay, cool. And then I'm going to do my bonus action now, which is uh, Lashing Tendrils. So I get your movement, stat six. Uh, stat five for me, positive flip for me. Uh, positive flip for me. Two, 18. Oh dear, uh, not 18, I am on 14. Are you gonna cheat? Do you do damage from this? Uh, I'm gonna push you onto there. Ooh, you push me onto the trap, which will be, what, a point of damage? Yep. I don't think I can do anything here, because, like I said, hard to kill, can't cheat anything in. Go for it, mate. Oh, this is... She becomes a corpse. <laughs> appreciate everybody at home how <laughs> much this makes me so happy. The really awkward thing now is, like, after dissing Alison Day, she's going to have to uh, step up do to some the work. Uh, and that is the T-Rex done. Well done, T-Rex. Nicely done. I'm going to go with Undercover Reporter. He is simply going to mosey to this position here and he's going to take the interact action. That's him done. Cool. Right, let's go with the Eagle. Terry the Eagle. Eddie Eagle. Eddie T the Eagle. Terry the Eagle. His lesser known brother. Yeah. So discard a card when you activate. I have done. I've discarded the seven. So I am going to uh, folk concentrate yep. and then focus to an attack this girl. So you're going to concentrate, then attack me to get around the Serene. And I'm going to use my bonus action, Aerial Strike, so I'm sending the little boy. Okay, so a straight flip. Straight flip. Against my defense, yeah? Yeah. Defense of five. Uh, six. Fourteen. Uh, no. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, I guess I'll just melee you and just hope I get lucky. So you're on negative this time? Yeah. One. Two. Yeah, I didn't get lucky. Hey. <laughs> that's, the, that's the bird, though. I'm going to go with the False Witness. She is just going to move 
to this position here. Oh, nudge her. Staying within two of this strap marker. And then she's just going to take the interact action to pop this ski marker down. Right there. Worth of saying the bird took a point of damage when you ended your activation next mm -hmm. to it. Uh, your go, mate. Uh, I'm going to go with him. He's going to concentrate. Yep. And then he's going to charge. And he's going to attack this, this girl. Straight flip then? Yep. Okay, defense of five versus your stat of? Of four. Seven. Red Joker. Well then. Uh, I don't think there's actually anything decent to <laughs> trigger wise. Um, so I am on positive flip. Uh, 18. So positive flip. One. Light Joker, please. Oh. Two. Uh, that is three damage. She explodes into confetti. Well done. Sadness source. Uh, whew. Well, this is getting dangerous. I think we just accept that the strat points aren't really going to be a thing until turn <laughs> five. <laughs> um, so. I'm going to go with the printing press. It's going to hot off the presses, Alison Dade, who's going to relent. Oh, 13, never mind. So push her four inches, give her two burning. But I'm then going to assist it. So staying within two inches, I'm going to flip a card. A one, reduce her burning by one. Doesn't make too much difference. And that is it all done. Right, I'll do an easy action. This Crypsis Court is going to go down here. And then to here and just sort of play defensive. He's taking the granny roll. He's taking the granny roll and that's that. Over to Miss Dade. I'm sorry, everything I said that was bad about you, Alison. You're great. She's going to walk at five inches to here. She's then going to try and one more question, El Dino. Okay. So terrifying 12. Terrifying 12. That's quite a lot. She's well past six, though, because journalists. Uh, so... That's not going to do it, so I am going to need to cheat in a card. I'm going to cheat in this seven. Okay. So I'm successful. Um, and they're going to ask him a question. I'm going to drop a focus. So this is going to be a stat six versus the dinosaur's mighty willpower of four. Awesome. Let's see how we do. Six. Um, 16. Yeah, he's slow. Yeah, he fails. Okay. I'm going to take the... Inbuilt uh, distracted trigger. Okay. And it would give you slow, but you are engaging Nelly, so there is a damage flip here. Okay. So focused would be a. So what were you on six, did you say? Yes. And I was on what? 16? Yes. So straight flip goes to a positive flip. Okay. And yeah, I'll take the slander trigger. Ah, uh, to wound as well. Okay, so straight flip. Yeah. That's a weak, let's go to a moderate. So that is gonna be three damage. Okay. And then you gain distracted, and then you will take plus one damage because you're near a scheme marker, so that'll be four damage. He's on four health. And then Alison is simply gonna try her bonus action just to fish for the surge. So she's gonna try and impassion defense Nelly. Needs a four, gets an eight, don't have a tome, so Nelly will gain shielded plus two. And that is misstayed, all done. All right, easy peasy. This one away. He's so close to the uh, end goal, so he's going uh, eight inches towards the end. He looks like he's going to escape next turn, which is good for me. And this is how we look at the end of turn three. Everything's almost dead. This might be our first nil nil. <laughs> <laughs> Neither of us have declared anything still. Um... <laughs> Yeah, my undercover reporter's decided to deadly pursue. He's having a whale of a time over at the back of the board. But um, yeah, thoughts? I hate this game. <laughs> this is, uh, this is. Uh... At the end of this video, I was going to be like, we might use Keris and we might use Vix. It's absolutely Vix next season. It is just, I'm going to walk, shoot, stab. That's all I'm going to do. I don't want to think ever again. I've just, you know, I've literally... Uh, I'm, I've, my willpower's gone on this one. Fair play to Nelly facing off the dinosaurs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so we have drawn new cards, we've done fiery damage and stuff, and we've done a lot of cheating for initiative and reflips and stuff. You've ended up taking it, mate. Yeah. You were worried about Nelly basically finishing the dino. Yeah. So we're going to go to the first activation of turn four, which is going to be the Explorer's Society. Right, we're going to go with Cooper. We've got depleted hands, haven't we? yeah. Look at my hands and pity me. Right, so uh, Cooper is going to take a shot at Nelly. Awesome, you ignore friendly fire. I do. Against my defence? Against your defence. Defence of six. Uh, a start of six. Right, let's see how we do. Let's do this. Uh, seven. 
Uh, I'm on 14. Um, I will go to 16. Uh, I will match you on 16. Okay. Negative flip, double negative flip. Even. Double negative flip. One, two, three. So that is a moderate of four damage. Oh, one, two, three, four. Down to eight straight away. Um, discard a card again, adversary beast. Uh, I'll discard a one. Cool. I will discard this card so that uh, the T-Rex takes a, sh a bite at her. Go for it. Uh, distracted. Distracted. So negative flip. One, two, uh, ten. Uh, also ten, but you can't cheat, can you? Nope. Eleven. Awesome. So that is a T-Rex. Cooper's next shot against Nelly. Let's do this. Uh, Twelve. Uh, I'll go to... 15. Uh, I will go to 19. Okay, cool. And then last shot. I'll put a plus flip on this to a negative on the attack. Okay. Uh, so, oh, red well, joker. Then. Well, I mean, I, well, that was unfortunate. Uh, so I'm on 20. 16. Uh, so it would be triple neg. Go for it, mate. Triple neg. Uh, is there a trigger I want to put on it? Yeah, why don't we go with my loyal servant to heal the T-Rex? Just make sure you're not within six of Alice and Dade to turn it off. Ooh, just out. Okay, cool. So, one, two, three. Weak. Uh, that's a week of two damage. Puts her on six health. Um, and the T-Rex heals uh, one damage back, so that's nice. Lovely. I'll discard my last card, this five. And the T-Rex will take another bite out of you. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm on eight. Uh, I'm on 11. Okay, that is Cooper done. Actually, I'll try and put a trap down. Uh, no. <laughs> and that's Cooper done. We are absolute idiots. Like, we're, we're the worst Malifaux players in the world. Like, it's just not yeah. enough gone. Um, so I would show you my hand, but we've both depleted our hands on the first activation. <laughs> <laughs> um, Nelly, right, let's turn and face Nels. Like, screw you, Dino. I will take you down. So we've put a ski marker here, because I'm going to use it in a second. I'm going to drop it in a second. First thing she's going to do, she's going to impassioned, uh, no, she's going to lunacy, Alison Dade. Needs a four for this to go off. Gets a seven. And a tome loves it. Right, double distracted for Alison Dade. Good news. I draw a card, and then I can draw another card because of the surge trigger. These are the two cards that I've drawn. Okay. Second thing I'm going to do. I am going to do Lessons from Ephraim Wade, where I drop a shockwave, but it's not a shockwave. It is a scheme marker, so I'm going to drop it mm -hmm. roughly there. So it's within an inch of Cooper and an inch of the diner. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't know what truth she's going to drop this time. I don't know if she just casually turns around and goes, too many masters is hard to manage. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm, I've run out of uh, memes to say now. So she needs a four for this to go off, which is the pleasing news, Courtney. And she gets a 12. She loves it. Right. So this is a uh, shockwave one, willpower 14, one damage and a distracted. Okay. T-Rex. Hates it. Hates it. Take a damage and distract it. Uh, and then Cooper loves, loves it. it. Okay. So damage and distract it on T-Rex and knocks it down to what? Three? Three health. Okay. And no one's within two inches to me to tactically Nelly pass that on to. Okay, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to try and false reality on Alison Dade, which conveniently also needs a four. So this is going to be place target anywhere within X of its current position, where X is equal to two inches plus twice the value of the target's distracted condition. So I need a four for this to go off. I get a one. That's disappointing, but I'm going to cheat in this 12 that I drew. So I get to place Alison within six inches. So we'll just do that. Okay, and Alison Dade has just teleported herself near the strap marker. We've tidied up, so she's on one distracted because she had a focus and then minus and all that. I'm going to go for a Hail Mary for the last one because I've done my Lessons of Ephraim Wade once and I can only do it once per activation. So I'm going to try and curse translation. She's going to try and speak dinosaur. Okay. Uh, so this will be stat six versus your willpower, but I need to pass a terrifying test first. What yep. is your terrifying? 12. 12, and I'm willpower five, so I need a seven. It's a four. She is unsuccessful. She can't speak dinosaur, Courtney. 
It's who can? It's a stupid thing to do. But that will end her activation, and thank God she gets her negative tartness up. Right, so I'm going to go with the Rex. As you can see, I've turned him around, knocking everything over in my path. Big tail. Uh, so he is a really inconveniently sized model. <laughs> yes. So he's going to charge. Uh, I feel he's going to charge to here. Do you feel it in your jellies? Because he's got plus two to his melee, so. Nice. You are slow, distracted, burning. I'm all those things. Everything. All right, two cards. Uh, against my defense, you're ruthless. You ignore my manipulative. Okay. Defense of six. Yep. Ugh. Uh, 14. Uh, 11. Happy days. That's. Uh, I'll try and last in tendril. So it's against your movement. Step six. Move for five. Yeah, she's happy. Yeah. That, well, okay, that's TX done. I'm going to go with the false witness. Uh, Granny is going to concentrate. She's going to walk just to play goalkeeper like your Crypsis, and then she's going to try and chuck out her Tell No Lies uh, aura. So it needs a seventh this to go off. Loves it. So anyone within a uh, three inch aura of her cannot cheat fate. Awesome. Her done. Okay, so we're going to go with this run away. He's finally done it. He's succeeding He's in running away. The 50, the 40, the 30, the 12, the 10. Touchdown, Cooper. I get to replenish my hands. So these, this is my hand now. I, there you go. You can see it. I actually see it now. And I get to put a ski marker anywhere I want. So uh, I guess I'll just pop it here. Lovely. And that's that done. Right, we're on the edge of the table stuff now. I'm going to go with the undercover reporter. He's going to eat the ski marker, which means he can move six inches with follower lead. He's going to walk five. He's just shy of a strat marker. And then he's just going to take the concentrate action to gain a focus. Right. Let's continue our defense antics. Our defensive antics. So my Crypsis Court is going to move to here. And he's going to take a shot at your man. My man, my undercover reporter. Because you have got a condition on you, I get to put a suit onto this. Lovely. I am defense of five. Okay, I am stat of five. Come at me. Let's do this. Uh, nine. One. Nice. I'm going to cheat. Uh, I'm going to cheat. That to go to 17. Okay, straight flip. Straight flip. That would be a moderate of, let me just double check because I am very prepared as a boy. Um, so that would be free damage. I'm going to cheat in this to go to four damage up to five damage. Two, three, four. Is that your crit strike? Yeah. Yep. That's my crit strike. Uh, Alison Dade can't see you to turn it off. He's on one health. Awesome. And that is him done. Uh, well, I've only got two left, so I'm going to go with the printing press, and it's just going to simply double walk itself just to this position, just so it can observe the sadness and carnage and Alison and Dade wrestling a dino. Right, let's go with the eagle, Eddie. Yeah, you avoid my granny. He's going to go to here, and then he's going to go to here, and that's him done. Oh, no, actually, no, he's not him done, because he's going to flip it. He's going to do a bonus action, so he's going to do his aerial strike. Oh, okay. Uh, so, this is against Granny, stat four. Uh, yes, my manipulative has gone, but I'll drop a focus for a positive. Uh, so I'm on 11. Yeah, I'm all good. Um, I'm on 16. Nah, that's fine. Lovely. That's them done. Last activation of the turn for me then, Alison Day, she had a, a sure thing with picking this up, and now she isn't so sure about her thing. <laughs> Uh, so, she is going to uh, try and impassion defence herself, just to see if we can get the surge off. So I need a four, ideally with a tome. It does go off, she gets double shielded, but we're not going to put it on because it doesn't matter. She's then going to attempt to one more question the dinosaur. So it's a terrifying test first. After I focus, actually, let's concentrate because okay. let's get rid of that. Because otherwise this would be redundant. Uh, so concentrate and then one more question. It's terrifying of... Twelve. So I need a six for her to be successful. She flips an eight, that's good news. And this is a stat of six against your willpower, my love. A four. Oh. 14. Oh, 18. Yeah, he's slow. Okay, so you gain the slow condition. Mm -hmm. uh, can we just double check to see if you're within eight inches of Nelly? I mean, no. So I've got bad news for you, mate. 
No, you're okay. Because <laughs> uh, otherwise Cooper would be slow. Um, I'm going to declare the inbuilt slander trigger. So you gain distracted plus one. Yep. And again, Nelly can't spread that. And um, you are engaging me. So it's a one, three, four damage flip. Okay. Negative flip, I believe. Uh, yeah, hard to, wound as well. hard to wound as well. And then the slander trigger will be plus one damage afterwards. Yeah. So three cards. Yeah. One, two, three. Just flipping them off camera. That'll be a single point of damage. Yay. And then you'll get another point of damage from slander. One health left. One health Burning's left. Burning's going to do him in. Burning's going to do him in. Please do his job. Yep. That'll do, Alison. That'll do. Right, last action. This man this is going to walk to here and attack this granny. You're charging me. I am. You scumbag. I am going to drop my focus for positive flipping. Okay, let's do this. Come at me. Defense of five. Yeah, granny says no. And well, you can't well. cheat because you're near us. So. Um, and that's, yeah, I could bonus action, but there's just... Uh, I'll bonus action out of the way. <laughs> ah, bonus action. Uh, so, this is against your willpower. Awesome. Uh, stat four. Let's do this. Willpower five. Nine. More than nine. Well, there we are. And that's the end of the turn. It's the end of the turn. And here we are at the end of turn four. And, um, yeah, that was a brutal turn. <laughs> so, yeah, so. At, least I would turn, at least I turned up now. On the upside, there's barbecue dinosaur on the menu because he's just burnt to death, <laughs> yeah. finally. Um, it's worth us saying that the Deadly Pursuit has happened in the back and my guy is going to hide in his barrel this turn because I don't want the Crypsis one-shotting him. And I'm kind of hiding behind the concealing strap marker. Mm -hmm. More importantly, there's something to declare. I declared detonate charges because I was mere millimetres outside of doing it to the dino last round. And uh, yeah, I've detonated on Cooper. So two ski markers have gone walkies. Here's hoping we can uh, finish the job. <laughs> finish the job. Um, thoughts, mate? Um, I'm glad, I'm at, so to be honest with you, I'm quite happy that I uh, denied you getting the strat last turn. Yeah. Um, so. Really good job. You know, the, you know the Colette Pandora one where we were just scoring points for fun? Mm -hmm. This is like, it's evil. This is the punishment for this. This is, this is the, the flip punishment. side of the coin. Um, um, I've... I've not scored anything yet, which, you know, is great. You're well, right, there's only yeah. one point on the board, so yeah, whatever. Yeah, you'll be fine. Your bird will collect something. Um, unless Nelly tells it it can't interact anymore, which I'm not thinking about that, Courtney. Don't worry about it. So, I am going to uh, be going first because we flipped. Uh, I used the last of my pass tokens to go up to like 14 or something ridiculous. Mm -hmm. So, turn five, first activation of the guild. Let's get on it. Okay, I'm going to start off this final turn, and we've done a lot of mental maths here about what the points are going to be, but I have got... These cards I'm playing with for this last term. I'm just going to go with the guy who's on death's door at the moment. It's the undercover reporter. He is going to remove this strap marker for one to guarantee me a point. He's going to take the interact action to place a scheme marker down. However, he's then going to remove it straight away to follow a lead. He'd move six, but he's staggered, so he's just going to basically hang out around here. And that is him all done. So, this is my hand. Hopefully you can see that there. Ooh. Uh, so I'm going to go with Burb. He's literally just going to fly to this other side and pick this up. Yeah, I've got a point. Points in the bag. Right, I'm going to go with the granny, the false witness. She's going to step up and she is going to attempt to disengage, my love. Okay. So you get a swipe on me. Okay. Your attack of four versus yep. my defense of five. Uh, 16. Oh, 12. Happy with that? Yeah, I'm happy with that. So she is just going to mosey five inches away. So there. Mm -hmm. And then she's just going to walk again. To there. Mm -hmm. And she's going to attempt to put out her no cheat aura just in case. So this is uh, Tell No Lies, stat five, nearly 12. Gets a 10, it goes off. So you cannot cheat within three inches of her. Okay. That's her order. Right, let's go with this Crypsis Court. I'm going to just try and make things easy, I guess. So he's gonna go this way, and then he's gonna go this way, and that's him done. Lovely. Right, I'm gonna go with the printing press. I don't know how it's managed to get this far. Uh, we've pre-measured this, it's gonna charge into Cooper, to get yep. within an inch of him, and it's then gonna attack him. I am distracted though, so I'm on a negative flip here. Okay. So, it is going to be a uh, propaganda machine, stat five versus your defense of six. Okay. Like I said, negative for me. Uh, seven? <laughs> uh, seven. 
Oh no, six. Six. Tell lie. Oh. So it fails because I can't. Yay. Shoot. Nicely done. Uh, and then I'm just going to attack That's you. That's just by being successful by doing nothing. I and then I'm just going to attack you normally. So stat five versus your defense. Okay. Uh, 14. 14. If you want to cheat. Uh, yeah, I'll go to... Uh, I'll go to 15. Oh, very nice. I will go to a larger number than 15. But it will not reveal which one that is. I will go to uh, 17, mate. Okay. I'll take the inbuilt um, headline secrets exposed trigger. Okay. So, um, two, three, four damage. Mm -hmm. uh, negative flip. Yep. Weak. Weak, two damage. Two damage. You would take extra damage if you're near a scheme marker or not. Uh, you then have to take the interact action, but you are within two inches of Alice and Dade. Yeah. So she will control it. So I'm going to get you to put a ski marker down. Okay. Just there. Alison will get very excited by this and gain a focus. And I believe Nelly will get so excited she will give you one irreducible damage because that is the words have power. After an enemy model with an eight resolves the interact action, it suffers one irreducible damage. Okay. That locks him down to... Uh, free health. And that will be it for the little machine. Right, I'm going to go with Cooper. So, Cooper is going to try and disengage, because this one can. Yep, uh, this, this one is uh, more cowardly, shall we say, or more focused. Uh, stat 5 versus defensive 6. Uh, yep. Uh, 19. Yeah, but I think... With Cooper himself. With Cooper himself, he steps up. You're absolutely fine. You can disengage away, my love. Yeah. Movement of 5. I'm going to go... Into the forest. Into the forest. Actually, I'll just go behind the forest, actually. Yep. I feel like that's... A solid plan. Just as solid. One, and then a little bit. So there... And then I'll go five and just a little bit. And then I'll just go a little bit more. Lovely. This is his final position on camera. Can we see that there, mate? Well, yeah, I'll move to here. And then he's going off camera. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to take a shot. So I'll move, move. Um, Fire a shot. Yeah, so you take... disengaged and then yeah, you've moved. So I'm going to so take a shot. You were about round about there. Yes. So. Who do you want to shoot? I'll shoot the barrel man. Shoot the barrel man. Is that in shock? You just have a look there, mate. Uh, no, just out. We'll reframe. And now we're in shot, so I'm going to take my shot. Uh, I will drop a focus because I'm on death door. Okay. Uh, start six against your defense. My defense is five. Uh, it's 15. I'll go to 19. Well, I guess he's getting shot then. Negative flip. Negative flip. I mean, I'm on one health, so don't black joker, you'd be fine. Red joker. Murders? Uh, yeah, that's six health, right. six damage. Six damage. He explodes. The shielded does not help him in that situation. That's fine. Nicely done. And that is Cooper done. Pretty straightforward one for me. As much as she'd like to do something slightly more interesting, Alison Dade is going to walk to this position here and she's going to take the interact action just to pop a scheme marker down right there. Uh, so, as you can see, I'm going with my, uh, my man. He's just moved to there. And he's just going to concentrate because yeah, there's just... not much else he can really do. So there's no point uh, dragging this out. Right. So we've got the lady herself to go last, the voice of disorder, Nelly Cochran. She's going to go. She's going to move six to here, move six to here. And then essentially, I've just got to try and get my shockwave off, haven't I, mate? Mm -hmm. So she is going to use uh, lessons of Ephraim, Wade, and we just hope we don't black joker this. So she needs a four. We're going to try and just drop a scheme marker there. What bad news is you going to share, Courtney? Um, Citadel contrast paints are better than you think. Oh. <laughs> Controversial point. I just better put the comments on the channel, to be fair. Don't be a black joker. That's fine. Right, nails it. Drops the scheme marker. Um, yeah. Job done. Uh, yeah, job done. Good game, my love. Good, Good game. Under the camera of the worst, and we'll go to the end game. And this is the picture at the end of the game. And yeah, we didn't bother doing the damage flip for Cooper because he wouldn't have died from it anyway. But you've got an interesting thing to reveal. We both get a strap point this turn. Yes, I I declared the second part of Vendetta, the Crixus Core and the Pale Rider. You did a really good job of bluffing breakthrough there. Now, we both kind of uh, said to each other in the last turn, what did you take for the other one? And we were both like outflanking. Yeah. Outflank on the uh, corner deployment was foolish. But... 
Through hooker by crook, I've managed to get my second point of detonate charges. So mm. by our reckoning, we think it's 3-2. Yes. Which, how we got to 3-2 after as many turns as we did of zero points is beyond me, but there was a cacophony of point scoring at the very end there. Yes, there was. So, wonderful game, I love. We'll go to the outro, and we'll see you guys in a second. So either we're really bad at this game, or that was just a really low score. <laughs> Why did we take? Why did we both take out flank on corner deployment? Why are we playing so, like when we rotate through the games? Obviously, our Pandora and Colette one robbed us of what was going to be the the last game of season three. So Courtney messaged me last night. He was like, "What have we got to play?" And I was like, "It's corner symbols." And we were both like, "Sad panda, basically." I'm so sorry. That was brutal, though. I'm especially. so sorry you had to watch that. I mean, it's great. I mean, like <laughs> we've learned plenty, though. We've learned plenty. To, to be honest, new Nelly. Oh, that activation she had where she just went, everybody do what I say. Yeah. And Cooper is constantly reliable with beasts. Uh, to be honest with you, I always, whenever I win a new crew, because this is the first time we've played these Yeah, we should have said at the start, we have not played these matches. Yeah, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I usually just try and uh, play the master, not worry too much about schemes and strats. Yeah. So there's, there's, there are things I forgot, like, uh, what would have been really useful the plus would, one would have been plus one that I just completely forgot most of the time but also uh, there's a really nice trigger on the pit traps that give uh, people minus to hit oh uh, smoke screen ah. which would have been really useful to remember that I but, think you got that turn one but it didn't matter turn one but every other one it would have yeah so but I'll remember that next time and I think that's the best way to uh, take it on when you think of it when you win on anything is uh, just try and take it as lessons and then you won't do it next time. We've got like a casual Harlefo game on Wednesday and it's absolutely Vix versus New Maxine. We're just going to punch each other. We're, yeah. we're, we're not going to play anything. Can we? Yeah. Speaking of Nelly actually in Masters though, I'd like to apologise on her behalf for the wonderfully harsh things that she said. You know, she spits truth bombs, doesn't she, Nelly? And like, I have no, it's not my, it's not my. I'm just saying, I didn't just, say it. Just, we're we're going to completely disengage. We're, we're, with that. I'm not, I didn't say it. She is the voice of disorder. She's just she causing is. a ruckus. And, she is. You know, in no way are we singling people out with what she says. Anyway, if you haven't commented yet, what can they do? Uh, comment below. I hope it is below. Yes, it is below. Um, well, they got say to say? something. Can I get to quiz you on it now? Yeah, say, say something really nice about me. And then if you if you if the nicest person will win an your car park. Shut up. <laughs> MVP, favourite play, favourite character, and your core box available for you. How much you love me. Two weeks afterwards we'll announce it. So make sure you're subscribed and you're there. Obviously, we've got a new season that we're going to prepare for. It'll be coming in the new year because obviously we need to prepare. Also, there's like, you know, things that I've got going on in my personal life that's probably going to take a fair bit of time yeah. soon. Um, but it's probably going to be the Victorias, not the new title card because they're a bit schemey and naff. I want the double activations, fun stabs, because that's too much brain power mm. that we've done this season. So it's probably the Vix and then maybe Keris afterwards, I want to say. Who are you thinking next season? Uh, You're Maxine. sticking with your Explorers. You love your Explorers. Right? Yeah, I'm trying to stick with uh, Explorers just completely yeah. so I'm doing Cooper and I'm going to be doing Maxine so more than likely it'll be Maxine fantastic I think Chris has said he's going to bring his maybe, maybe Mayfeng it depends like Darren God knows what filth is going to come on I'm like I'm glad you've taken Maxine that takes it away from him yeah I mean it'd probably be Cadmus now so that, you know I mean, I could always pull the Cadmus out as well. You could always pull the Cadmus. But a massive thank you for all the kind support that we've had this season. Yeah. I know we are absolute prats and we don't know the rules and we mess around a lot, but it's been really nice to see the positive. I mean, talk about yourself, mate. I am absolutely talking about myself. <laughs> but obviously there's tons of work that goes into this. We've had to re-record battle reports a couple of times, but hopefully the audio especially has improved now. Yeah, hopefully so. And, and hopefully yeah, you, you just enjoy it and it inspires you to get some models out on the table and play for fun as well. So a massive thank you for Courtney. Thank you. Massive thank you to Chris and Darren and hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye. Well, a massive thank you for watching that video, guys. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you want to find some more, they should be over here. And if you want to support the channel and the content that we create here, there's links to our Patreon and merchandise in the description below. Take care.